That's how we do. Return to the noise is how we do. How we do. You know it's how we do. He goes, kick off your shoes, relax your feet. Okay. Keep your eyes burned, step down, bring the heat. Hey everybody, welcome to the Crown Pete Show. I'm your host, Chris. Just a little bit distracted. I said distracted, don't go in the gutter, y'all. There's tons of hot guys, but even more so, exciting for me, there's a fucking table full of food. I'm here at Oak Crab and Hacienda with the owner and my friend, Johnny. Thanks for being on the show, Johnny. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we talked about this a while ago and you thought you didn't have anything to talk about, but I think that you do, correct? No, yeah, you, you know, when, when you get into business, it's head down and, you know, it's not about what you're doing, but as I started and, and the old crab and the sidebar, and I start hearing people say, "Hey, Johnny, this," or they're shaking your hand, and you inspire me. Oh. You know, that shit's. Does it that's feel real strange cool. to you, or does it feel good? No, it feels strange. It, feels it really strange. does. It's just like I, you know, I'm not deserving of it. I'm just a guy who works his ass off and is in debt or whatever <laughs> has to happen yeah. gets done. We'll start a know? GoFundMe, okay, bro? Just we'll See, start there a GoFundMe. It is. Because this place is amazing. I don't, I don't like seafood, but damn, it smells so good right now. I think I might just have to try something well, for the first just, time. We're, we're not just seafood. We have cheeseburgers. We have tri-tip sandwiches. We have BLTs. We have, you know, so many different flavors out there. I, my buddy and I, Hiro, we would come out here every Tuesday and just eat the food, smoke some weed, eat the food, drink some beer. And that's what this is, it's for everybody. It's for everybody. So everybody can smoke some weed and come enjoy your food. Well, you might not be the one who has to, you know. You don't I have am. to. I don't think you I have to smoke it. weed to come and enjoy the food no, here. No, but no. it's a bonus, for sure. So I see that you would serve oysters as well. Yes, yes. One of Jeff Garcia's favorites, too. Really? We have is our, that your pop, the most popular thing on your menu? You know, our shrimp is the most popular. We have our shrimp. I like it. I like it with everything and mild. I, I can't do hot or very hot. Yeah. Um, but so yeah. is the mild shrimp the most popular plate? Yes. Nice. Yes, that's really good. And I see that people wear, like, plastic bibs, right? Oh, you have to. You can get dirty. Yeah, I or can't do like me. Yeah. Yeah, you're like nice and clean. You haven't eaten any of this, right? No, I did. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, my buddies are so back there. He's a professional. There. He's a fucking professional. Not a drop on him. Okay, so when did you open Oak Crab? So the first time we opened was in 2013. And it was just a side bar. Okay. And we got closed a year later. And the owners, which were real cool, uh, they said, not all money is good money. Mm -hmm. You don't understand that until you start looking at business and their aspect of yeah. business. How would you define that statement though? Man, you know, there's things you shouldn't be doing mm -hmm. and you do it anyways or you want to you want to be able to bring in this or bring in these people or you have a, a Saturday that's not doing well yeah. and, and you do things that you shouldn't do. Okay, well, I'm not going to ask you to elaborate on that because I have a case I already. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a fucking accessory, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so keep that to yourself. You, FBI? Yeah, I know. I've been here all day, if anyone asks, okay? <laughs> all day I've been here at Oh Crab, staring at the food because I can't eat yet. So, okay, Sidebar was here first then, yeah. correct? And Sidebar is still happening, if you can hear it in the background. So what's your most, uh, your busiest day at Sidebar? Our days are Friday, Sundays. Saturdays have been surprisingly doing very well. You know, we have a DJ, we have yes, karaoke. DJ Truth is fucking amazing. DJ Truth. When Mellow Man showed up, it was a rap, baby. Oh, yeah, come on. Can you wait your turn? Can you wait your turn? Such a diva back there, right? Yeah. He's, he's trying to steal the show, Johnny. Wait your turn. So, you have a um, karaoke night, correct? Yes. What night of the week? Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do karaoke. Okay. Uh, DJ is... Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, our Monday Night Football, we crack, we do our barbecue oysters. Yes. Joey, one of my guys right here, he yes. helps me out. Nice. It's really good, Mel comes out. Do you also have a comedy night here at Sidebar? We used to do comedy. Okay. We did, and now we have a, on August 20th, we have a hip hop and comedy show. Nice. Yeah, it'll be a fun time. And that's gonna be here at the Sidebar, correct? It's gonna be here at the Sidebar, yes. All right. And old crab. Yes, we're gonna talk about some bigger event you have coming up, but in the second half of the show, so stay fucking tuned. Um, 
Is this the only business you own, the restaurant and the sidebar? No, I have a, I have a transport company. Okay. I started, I started my uh, business because my mentor, Chris Kirk, okay. like that guy here on the statewide towing, he's phenomenal, man. Just a great guy. And Why do you have time to take a shit, bro? Dude. Like, seriously, you have the sidebar, you have oak crap, and you're here. Like, people can come out here and meet Johnny. Like, you're no, here. No, I think that's where we need to be. We need to be present, you know? Exactly. We, we need to do the Latino upliftment. Yes, you know? that's another thing you have going on. The, the meet and greet, or um, what is it called? Lana. We have Lana going on. And, um, you know, it's just trying to build the networking alliance to where you can ask for help. Or if you don't have an idea or you're stuck at a wall, you can say, hey, I need help with this. And mm -hmm. you know what? I may not have the answer, but I got an AC guy, I got a yeah. lawyer, I got a plumber, I got a real estate guy, I got this guy. Let's all help it's each other It's connections, out. right? Yeah, it's all it's about all... helping somebody yeah, out. That's what is. this show is really all about. It's, you know, I get asked that a lot. Like, what's the show about? This show is about exactly that. It's about coming on and promoting yourself. Yeah. And I hope that my platform gets bigger and bigger because I want to help out more and more. Thank you for being on my show. Oh, yeah. I no love worries. it. But I don't understand how you run all this shit, bro, and I see you on the fucking golf course all the time. You know what? It's only Wednesday. It's only the Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. I won't see all weekend. I can't do that. We have to do Wednesdays only. Yes. I do it with my boys right here. All is I know. Yes, I see them all. It's, it's, my God. it's so awesome. It's like a fucking meat market behind my camera, girl. You know, Sorry. When, when we started this, is that you have to look at the aspect of the business guy and your business life you're working every day but your main thing is Monday through Friday yeah Saturday is for soccer Saturday is for family yeah. Sunday is for church Sunday is for this so when do you have that let's break it up we and in business you do it in the middle of the week do it on Wednesday but Come would you say out. that even on the golf course you're conducting business you're always doing something to network and exactly if it's not for me it's for someone that we can help yeah you know what's up with those baseball hats let's talk about those rasa golf yes yeah rasa ruben is a good friend of mine and he's uh at the, through i met i met through my boy over here melanin ace over here, yeah, i right. ain't mic'd up you go ahead and run it it's okay it's right. we have Look. a mic for you Boom. right there we got this right here Boom. no excuses See? So I met I met this cat. Yeah. I met this cat from Wait, COVID. welcome to the show, Mello. Go ahead and flip your mic on there, Mello. What's up, guys? Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? What a treat. Amazing. We got Mellow Man Ace on the show. Yeah. <laughs> the question was about the baseball hats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, our boy Ruben at Rasa Golf. He created this brand called Rasa Golf, and it really is what it is. He put together a whole bunch of brothers that come out and play golf. And then he joined our golf club, the Sidebar Golf Club on Wednesdays, and started giving us an approach of how to really put things together, right? So what he's done is he's managed to give us all hats and, and we cross-promote each other's brands. And uh, it's been a great, a great thing, especially when you come out on Wednesday mornings, 10 a.m., Montebello Golf Course. Now, can anybody um, come out and join? Male, join females, you guys? no handicaps needed. You could just show up. We have the entire 10 to 11 o'clock. Yeah. We have the entire 10 to 11 o'clock hour nice. to get you on with us. Are you and at the same golf course? Sorry, not to interrupt you, but are you at the same golf course every Wednesday? Every Wednesday we do. Until October, they're going to be shutting down Montebello to be uh, top golf. So. Oh. At which point we'll probably make the switch to Al Manzer in Alhambra. Okay. We're already in talks with them to do that. Okay. But uh, it's just been amazing, man. We got all these guys come out, especially Joey comes out, uh, Dave, Ralph, Ernie. Yeah. Uh, there's so many guys that we've DJ taken Caesar. in. DJ Caesar. DJ Caesar. Man. Absolutely, Dave. man. Dave. It sounds like a good DJ, time. DJ oh, Dave. Man. I can kind of confirm I mean, it's so a good many. time because I get to watch you guys live out there. Just the with homie your cigars Louis, and Louis around. Comes out, cigars. You've been out. Yeah, I and love so it. So all we do is burn cigars and have a good time. Yeah, you, know you do. I mean? So you guys heard that. Anybody can come out and hang with these two cool cats Wednesdays, correct? Wednesdays, 10 a.m., Montebello Golf Course. Nice. I like it. Yeah. So since we have Mello popped in already, let's talk about the upcoming event you guys have going on on August 28th. Yeah, no doubt. My man Johnny, I met him during COVID. Uh, you know, I, some people might know, might not know, I started a wine company. Some people made babies, these fuckers made business. I love it. Havana wine. Uh -huh. And, and my man Victor said, why don't you come meet Johnny? He might want a box of, of your wines. And I met him, and we kicked it. And it seemed like 
we knew each other for a very <laughs> long time. Friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'd known the guy for a long time. It's kind of weird the energy and the vibe, and we stuck as friends ever since. And so now we're doing all these other things. So in part of that is the the first annual Crab and Shrimp Throwback Festival, nice. August 28th. That's with right. With JJ Fad on stage, Candy Man, Mellow Man, Ace, Lighter Shade of Brown, yeah. and we just added Mariah Avila. It'll be hosted by Alicia Del Valle. You might remember Love her it. from the Channel 4 News, I believe it yes, was. Yes, such a beauty. And um, we just Holy added God. Concrete. Concrete's going to be here. He's going to give us a good, strong five hours. Um, and just, we want to invite everybody. All of Hacienda Heights, right the there. surrounding areas, right. uh, El Monte, um, La Puente, and everybody. Just come out, man. Support um, what we're doing. Have a good time on us. And, uh, I yeah. love it. So, one shot is the entertainment company you guys created. We created a How company. How did that come yeah. to be? Well, because Johnny said, he said to me at one point, he said, Mello, I'm going to give you the night, I'm going to give you the club, and I'm going to give you the, the restaurant one, one night. What do you want to do with it? I said, I want to do a concert. He said, put it together. Right. We put a, money, a lot of money in the pot, all of us as partners, my man Joey, Johnny, myself, Candy. Yeah. And, uh, and we said, let's go do it. Let's go do it. And now we start to put it together. Next thing you know, we're doing this, we're doing that. And um, I'm, you know, I'm really excited because I'm on a different side of the artistic coin on yeah. this one. You know what I mean? As a promoter and an artist. So when you when you experience all these other things, you really get to see the inner workings of a concert. Yeah. Because it's easy when you're an artist. You get your advance. You go do your show. You get the rest of your money. You go home. Yeah. You just show up. Now you're really putting the whole thing together from from Jump Street. So now this you is see... your first time putting an event together. Absolutely, it That's is. That's awesome. You guys have to come down and experience that. We're really excited about it. One shot. One what shot. time does it start on the 28th? So, of so one shot. So once he kept saying, "Melo, you got one shot." Oh. He kept saying, "One shot." If I gave you one shot with a bow and arrow mm -hmm. to shoot a deer from 300 feet. Can you put down the animal, or are you just gonna wound it? Hmm. You got one shot. Yeah. So one day I'm walking around the house. I had taken a, archers. I had taken while he was telling me all this, he had coasters on the bar. Uh -huh. So I said, man, I'm gonna take this coaster as a as a res, uh, so that it resonates everything that he said. Okay. And I'll put it in my office at home. Ooh. And every time I walk by it, I'll remember that I have one shot. That's a, a visual motivation right there. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And so then when it came time to name the company, I said, well, what about one shot? Perfect. And it made perfect sense. Yeah, it's perfect. It's the vibe. Yeah, yeah. no, no it's, it definitely is. I'm, I'm an archer, and so, you know, you look at, you have one shot to bring down an animal humanely to where you can, you and your family can have me. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people think that it's not, that, that's not a, a possibility. Like when I was a kid, my dad was an archer. And we would go hunting, we had to take down a deer. We had beans and rice all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that means we had deer for like two months. Did you guys like, ever make Jesus Christ, did you make enough of this. Jerky? Did you make deer oh, jerky? Oh, no, we just did. Oh, uh, God. I've had we, deer we jerky. Just, you know, my dad wasn't much of a butcher. He's cutting through sections. And it was, it was, you know, it was an awesome experience to do yeah. that. So know? that name, One Shot, means a lot to you. It, it, it's, and it, it motivated Mello to yeah. be like, this is going to fucking yeah. happen. We're going to do this. You look at, like, I went to Alaska to go bear hunting. Mm -hmm. And... You look at the yardage of what I'm effective at. Like I can kill a rabbit at 100 yards, yeah. but can I kill a bear at 100? I can. My bow, you know, is capable of, but I got to be so precise. Yeah. When I took down my bear, I was at 57 yards, and it was it just double lunged it, and you have to be precise on your shot. I just pictured you that laying on a bear time. rug. Do you have a bear rug? No, Damn no. Damn it! I just no, that, I have, you just killed that, that fantasy for me. I have that bear and then the arrow that took it down above my fireplace. Oh, okay, so you have yeah. You have a momentum, moment, whatever that, that word is. You yeah. know, everything. My dad got us into this, you know, and, and he he built something when we were kids that that I want to give to everybody, you know. He yeah. taught us how to go outdoors, build a fire. So do you have someone that fishing. you, off topic, I'm sorry, do you have someone that you share those memories with and that experience with? I got, I got three grandchildren. My mm -hmm. daughter's like, hey, dad, you know, I want my boys to learn how to go dad you know, I want them to learn yeah. how to shoot a bow and arrow. My youngest grandson's five years old. I had his bow that was given to me by my ex-father-in-law. Uh, I've had that since before he was born. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. It's it's. So, wonderful. do you? What do you see this? Do 
you see this being handed down to someone in your family? This legacy of the oh crab sidebar one shot. I want this for I want this for everyone. I, I want I want this to be good for everyone. Now, does the family have what it takes to be in business? It's a good to, question. You know, I, I've given up a lot. I gave up a marriage. I gave up you know, I gave up everything to be here. Yeah. And I'm still we're still not here. There's still things to do. You know, we're still trying to figure out stuff. Yeah. Where do you see where do you see not only yourself but one shot in five years from now? I see us uh, celebrating on a beach. All of us and I love it. everybody being able to eat together, knowing we're in about, hey, I want chicken or I can't afford this. I just yeah. everybody just You can tell with your food that you like to feed people. It's good food. It's, yeah. it's delicious. I bought the restaurant because of the food. Yeah. You know, the, the experience, you know, come out, enjoy Definitely. yourself. Definitely. Please come out and experience the food. It looks and smells amazing. Amazing. Now, are you going to, no, are you guys going to be serving oh crab on the night of, on the day of 28th? What do you think? Cool yeah. Speak on, on it. Right? Speak on it, Frankie. Yeah. yeah. So, included <laughs> in VIP is the experience of of eating a meal with the artists that you want to be there with. And it's going to be sponsored by Havana Wines. You know, we got Havana Wines going to be coming out. And, you know, we have uh, fried combo baskets. We have shrimp. We have oysters. Mm -hmm. We have just a bunch of everything. Yeah. It's going to and be a good time. And with your VIP ticket, you get access to the inside of the restaurant. And there's also a VIP backstage. Yes. Yes. Yeah, with your VIP, you're going to get the food and everything, the yeah. whole experience. You know, your taste buds are going to be in heaven. Yeah. You know, but then when you your get Your ears that, are going to be in heaven. The, yeah, no, of yes. course, of course. You're, you're going to enjoy the music. You're going to enjoy the food and everything that Oak Crab and Sidebar have to offer. And then you can get backstage and mingle with the stars yes. and, and the rappers and the DJs, the rappers, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, I can personally say that Melo actually likes to meet his fans. Yeah, I do. I'm not, I'm not one of them dudes that, that shuts down, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's not. I'm he actually lights up. Yeah, I'm really approachable. I've always, my mother always said, you know, if you shake a hand, it can go a long way. Mm -hmm. And I've been, I've been doing this thing now for 32, 33 years. And yeah. It's been a great, it's good. It's been a great life. I you know what it. I mean? Um, you have the, it's a roller coaster ride. You gotta, you know, strap in for those long years, mm -hmm. you know, um, especially when the record fades to black, things get di difficult and a little bit funky, but as long as you yeah. You maintain focus on what you're doing yeah. and understand who you are and be comfortable in your own skin. You can make it through those times and I'm um, I'm the result of that. So well said. I love it. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. Nice. I think we're going to take a quick break and come back and talk more about the event, more about the restaurant, and more about the sidebar. Give me a second. Welcome back, everybody. We are back from break where some of us stuffed our faces with delicious food here at Oak Crab. Let's take a smoke break. Some of us went potty. I didn't eat because I'd be asleep if I ate that yummy food. We are back with Johnny, the owner of Oak Crab and several other companies, and uh, the man, Meloman Ace. Hi. AKA Frankie, AKA Sammy, baby. Ooh, I love it. AKA Sammy, AKA Frankie. That's right. And for our yes. younger generation, who are we talking about? We're talking about Frank Sinatra That's and right. Sammy Davis Jr. Yes, the originals, the original cool cats, but now we have. The extra cool cats. These guys extra. are super. Yes, the extra cool the, cats. The second coming of the Rat Pack. Yeah, absolutely. exactly. That's perfect. The second coming. So who else is part of the Rat Pack? Well, we got Joey. He plays Joey Lawford. Uh, regulation Dave. Yeah, we got Regulation Dave. I love it. And and Dave is Dave is like he's like our Dean Martin. He doesn't say much. But he's there. He's always got a drink in his hand. I love it. I love you know it. what I mean? Uh, and when it's time to count money, he's the best for it. Speaking of drinking your hand, what are you sipping on, Tony? I got some Sabe right here. Sabe. Nice drink. That sounds delicious. It's, it is pretty tasty. Yes. So we spoke earlier about your restaurant, but I want to talk about your other business. It's a trucking, correct? Yeah, we do. Uh, I got into towing, man, years ago. I got into sales. I think sales is, is it for someone who wants to do something. And all you have to do is talk to people. Yeah. You can talk to people and, and you know, there's a, a saying that, you know, to have your friends buy your product is a hard thing, but to have a customer become a friend is an easy thing. Oh, that's great. And, and that's, and that, that, I hold that so true because, you know, you do things with these, you know, you're not, 
don't sell or you don't buy from anybody you don't know. Yeah. Report is everything, you know, and you have to do that. Yeah. I went into trucking um, years ago. I got uh, my boss told me you need to uh, you need to take this account. I said, hey, boss. hey, Chris, I got this one account, and uh, it's going to be a good account. Goes, you really think so? I was like, yeah. This is cool. He goes, the account's sure. Nice. This is in 2015, and I remember laying in bed with my ex-wife at the time, and I was like, shit, man, this is this, this is a tough decision. You're no longer going from working for someone who this yeah. man paid me very well to now you're working for yourself and your company is going to be the thing that carries you. Yeah. And that that decision, you know, there was times where I was like, shit, I had a company owing me 100000 I was like, how the yeah. hell am I going to get out of this? Yeah, that's a big ticket and, uh, right there. And everybody's going through the shortcomings and, hey, we'll get you next month or next month. And I, I have a, I got a mortgage company calling me, hey, you're two months behind. You know, is everything all right? And you know what? You make it through those times. Yeah. Uh, are you times. grateful that you tried it? Like you, you just went for it. Like, let me, let me, this is I think this is something that I think that's something that everybody needs to try. Yes. Everybody needs to go out there and you know take down that animal. Yeah. Whatever it is that you want to take down, take it down, man. I love it. One, one shot, shot, baby. One shot. Exactly. That's it. One shot. That's what it's about. Dude. You have. You don't have a lot of resources. I grew up in the hood. He grew up in the hood. Yeah. I grew up in the hood. And most of the people that come here grew up in the hood. Yeah. And you have that one opportunity. You save and save and save to buy your house, to buy your car, to send your kids to a better school that you went to. Yeah. And it's like, man, you got all that energy, all that drive, focus. You can imagine if you did that for yourself and yeah. you made your own company. You're spot on. That is correctly. Like, well, perfectly, I can't even say it right, because it was just so perfectly said. Like, take all that energy we put towards buying a house, you know, giving our kids a better life. Now put that energy sometimes towards us and what we want to try. Because you never know, if you try something, it might be the right something, and it might just take off. And you might be planning an event. Guys, life is about failure. It's what you do now that you fail. What's going to happen after that? Yeah. Do you get back up, do you dust yourself off, do you say, okay, that was cool. Let's go this route now. And that's the difference is, you know, you got the safety of working for a corporation. You got the safety of working for someone. But can you imagine if you became that asset for, you know what? I want to start a business or I want to be a vendor for this company. Well, what can you do? Well, what am I doing right now? Why can't I make $85 an hour? Why can't I make $125 an hour? Why can't I do this? Why, why is it that one man can but the next man can't? I think, what, do. what do you think it is? It's your pride. Exactly. You gotta put it out there, man. And not believing in yourself. Self-doubt is such a killer. Man, I've been going through that for the last two, three weeks, and it's just like, it's like, just get to the next step. Yeah. Do the next thing. You know, put, keep your smile on it. I'm glad Something you shared that time. because it's true. The most successful person in the world, the, the richest guy in the room, the most, you know, uh, successful guy in the room, has doubt sometimes. But you push through that, and that's why you're here. So on that note, I am super excited to talk more about the first annual, the first annual one shot festival happening here at O Crap. Yes. And and Mello, I want to hear more of what you have to say about that. Bring bring, <laughs> DJ bring that Drew. in there. Bring that in. We got we got a new stage DJ prop Drew, here. You gotta like pop in and say hi. Got stage prop here. Look at that, I love it. Measy. Yeah. No, on the camera, don't show There you go, good job. Measy. It's, it's the first annual Crab and Shrimp Throwback Festival thrown and presented by One Shot Entertainment. I love it. And uh, that's really what it is that we're really working towards right now on this on this front. You yeah. know, when it comes to concert promoting and all the other things that Johnny's got going on, you know what I mean? Like. I'm like, I'm that guy that just, I love, I love when the pressure's on me. And I think this is no different because it's like you gotta show and prove. 
Yeah. You gotta so show you improve. feel the pressure right now because you're on this side. Well, of I mean, I, I'm not saying that I feel the pressure. I'm saying I love when the pressure's on me. Okay. I want to be the guy that takes that last shot. Right. I want to be the guy in the ninth inning that's at the plate with the bases loaded. And that's when I shine the hardest. And I think um, a company like this right now, as our first endeavor, mm -hmm. you need that kind of guy. Now, do you guys have something already lined up? In, even if it's just an idea for your next oh. event, for your next We actually event? do. He, he's been excited fest. about it. October fans. Speak it. on it. I used to watch this show. Uh, it was a uh, beer league. And their Oktoberfest was shits and giggles. I want shits and giggles. Yeah, we're gonna have an Oktoberfest coming out here. I it, love it'll it. be fun. That's exciting. I, I knew you guys would have something else lined up. Because just the, the vibe and the energy is there. So I feel like there's so much more. Yeah. And it's exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to year two, year three, year four. Yeah. Uh, we're not, there's, the sky's the limit right now for us. Because I feel like, you know, um, the ideas are vast, you know, we know everybody in the game. Yeah. Um, we can get at anybody in the game that we want in terms of being on stage, mm -hmm. this being our first thing. We wanted to make sure we kept it in-house, mm -hmm. but as we grow as a company, you're gonna see yeah. bigger and better things. I believe that. So I have a question for you, Johnny, and don't just say him because he's sitting right here, but is there someone else you're excited to see on stage on the 28th? Man, I wanna see. I want to see the sunset going down. I want to see lighter shade brown coming out and seeing on a sunny afternoon. Yes. Dude, that <laughs> would be so dope. Like it's, that's, no, it's not, it not will that, be, it's going to be that, dope. That is like, that's it. That's, that's exciting. It. Like, yeah. and then this guy right here doing his fucking song. Of um, course. What's that one that I like? Welcome to my group. Welcome to my group. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Now, are you going to have Abby on stage with you? Abby is definitely a mainstay. Um, and what I do is so instrumental, okay. JK Fab. Yep. Yeah. She's so very instrumental in everything that I'm doing this year. I mean, she taught me how to play profession yeah. um, last year so that I can do this this year. It's been amazing, and the fans yeah. are really loving She's the new great. Man I love her. Not only is she just so fun to look at, she's just so beautiful and unique, but she's so multi talented. Abby, we love you. I love you. Yeah, no, no. Her energy. Yep. Her energy, I think, is what people gravitate to because she's just so fun-loving all the time. You know what I mean? And so when we got together to do this practice rehearsing and, and doing the drums and the yeah. percussion and the bongos and all that, it, 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 it was easy. It wasn't a lot of judgmental mm -hmm. shit, you know, that you might get from a male percussionist. And I think that helped me to come along and take it serious yeah. and really want to show and prove. Yeah, I think she made you comfortable and really pulled out so much more of you. Because you just get so into it. It's so fun to watch. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. yeah I love it. So, I'm excited to announce that these two, uh, I'm sorry, it's Sammy and Frankie, correct? <laughs> these two are giving the Crown Peach Show two VIP tickets backstage. And we are going to give you away to one lucky winner uh, in the area who has a date, hopefully. It's not available. Um, all you have to do is email us at the Crown Peach Show Gmail. Okay, at Gmail. I don't even know. Sorry. I've been drinking. Sorry. Um, email us what one shot, what that phrase means to you, one shot. And uh, you'll be with us here having a good time and watching the sun go down on, on a Sunday, Sunday afternoon. afternoon. That's right. So. All right, guys. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to wrap it up because I want to go celebrate over the sidebar with my friends. So thank you guys for being here with us. Remember to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And if you email me or message me or DM me, not only keep it appropriate, but kiss it. Keep it simple, sexy, so I read the whole thing. Anything's possible, guys. Anything. Yes, there you go. Oh, yeah. Hold on, can I plug my, my shit? Absolutely. Yo, yes, find, absolutely. Me, find me at mellow underscore man underscore ace on IG. The Mellow Man Ace on Facebook. Yes. Or you can always, you know what I'm saying, find me on WhatsApp and all that type of shit. I'll be everywhere doing it, baby. Talk to me, it. Frankie, baby. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday golf. <laughs> Wednesday That's golf, Montebello Golf Course, 10 a.m. <laughs> Every Wednesday, come on through. Perfect. Thank you, guys. This one here's the spot for all the haters. I feel it down deep in my soul to talk about days of old. All the cast that said I would blow. Now they begging for tickets to my show. <laughs>